Duchovny. <laughs> She's in for a treat. Well, thank you. Yeah, she says you're one of her favorite guests and one of my favorite authors. Well, that, this is too much pressure on me right now. <laughs> you're a native New Yorker yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the holidays in the city, do you stick around? Is this like, do you go to the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Can we expect to see you there? <laughs> no. Will we see you in the stores shopping? Um, well, I, I used to live on, on Central Park West, and I, and I thought that I could, I could get a free view of the Thanksgiving Day Parade, but it was too far down south. You know, I thought I would take pot shots at, at the balloons as, as they, they came, came by, by. But, but I didn't get to do that. Um, f for shopping, I mean, I'm, I'm well known in my family for um, giving gifts way too early. Like, if I, if, I, if I get a gift for anybody in the world, and I, I, my sense is always like, why shouldn't they enjoy it as soon as they can? That's a, you know? I mean, that's I a, like that. And, have you already given out gifts now? Well, that's yes. Pre Thanksgiving? Of I have. Yeah, it's all done. It's I mean, all, all the, done. <laughs> well, pretty much all the Christmas gifts are have, have been. My son, I, I got him a coat because I saw this great coat that I knew he would love. And he came over and he said, Dad, please don't give it to me until Christmas. And I said, well, what if it doesn't fit? And then on Christmas, you have to send it back and then you won't get to wear it until the next year. So. I gave it to him. You know, so, but this what do is you like do every kid's says? dream. Every kid's dream is like, <laughs> I just don't... want this for Christmas. Can I have it now? No, no they don't. They're, wow. they're, they're really tough on me. I, I, I don't understand it. I want, I, I want everybody to just give gifts all the time. You know, I don't like to be told what to do. I'm always receptive of gifts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you want to send right. something, anytime you want to send something to Deja, she will happily okay. yes. open it upon its arrival. I don't know, need to know your birthday. Anything. I'll just, I'll just send stuff your way. Uh, just because? Yeah. Whatever. I love it. Now, yeah. Did you? Is are the rumors true? You said you used to live on Central Park yeah. West. Did you really move? Did you pick up and leave I think us? I, I think I have. I think I have. I'm not sure, but I think I have. But I mean, you're, I'm, you're out, you're out there. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, I'm in L.A. Do you yeah. like it? I love it. You love it. I know it's 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 people don't say that, but I I like the <laughs> I like the space. I like the quiet. I like I like a lot about it. I mean, I'm a native New Yorker, as you said, and mm -hmm. it's a lot. I mean, I spent a lot of a lot of my time here, a lot of my life here. But when you go, okay, when you go out to LA and you take a meeting with one of the heads of the networks, <laughs> yeah. do you find it all very inefficient? There's no sense of urgency happening out there. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's very true. Um, but 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 here, I don't know. I feel like after living in LA for a while, I come back here and you know I'll go for coffee and do an errand, and by eleven o'clock I'm exhausted. Do you not miss the <laughs> hustle and bustle of the city? No, it's yeah, no. It's too tiring for I, you. I can't hustle anymore. I don't think I, I don't think I can hustle anymore. Hmm. But I like the fact that everybody seems to be upset that I moved, so I... I'm, I'm, de I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I, I feel like maybe I'll move back if I get it. David, I am devastated. We are devastated. Done. We, Done. I'm moving back. We claim you I, as ours. I, uh, exactly. I hate L.A. We're hate like, it. L.A., yes. <laughs> L.A. has palm trees. This is what I would say, like, yeah. at a dinner party. Yeah, L.A. has palm trees, good weather. We have David Duchovny. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. yes. Well, we... And when we come back, we'll talk about some bad cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the estate, of course, is a comedy about cousins who are after an inheritance. Yeah, and that's my cousin in the clip that I'm flirting with. <laughs> oh, so you're flirting with the cousin. You're coming in as a bad cousin already. Yeah, I just have no boundaries uh, and no shame. Tell us about this family and yeah. uh, why this is such, um, I don't know, I, I find that uh, when somebody passes away, oftentimes the estate brings out the worst in people. Yeah, well, that's what this, this is a, a movie about four cousins that are, are vying for Kathleen Turner's uh, estate as she's, as she's dying. Wow. And she's, she's still alive. She's still alive. Yes, yeah, right. and, uh, Kathleen is very much alive, you know, and uh, we, we just, we, we're just all despicable and horrible people. And, and you know, that's, that's my introduction. I'm a, I'm a, a cousin that, that seems to think that uh, there are no boundaries, uh, there's no incest taboo. Well, tell us <laughs> about your character. Yeah. I heard he's pretty interesting. He is. I mean, his name is Richard. He likes to be called Dick. Mm -hmm. He says things like, I like Dick now, and, and things like that. And <laughs> has, has, has no idea what he's saying. And in fact, uh, when, I, when I was talking to the director about doing it, I, I said I wanted to give him, like, what's his business? I don't know what his business is. And, and, and I decided that, that he tries to, to make apps 
you know, make his million dollar app. And I gave them like a stupid thing that I had done years ago in New York, walking in a snowstorm. And I was on the, I was on FaceTime, the FaceTime. FaceTime. And, uh, and I thought, oh my God, I saw, I saw that my hair was freezing and I was like, you know what? I have a million dollar app idea, a mirror, a phone, an a, a mirror app on the phone. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, it's gonna make millions. And I made some calls. Who do I call about this app? And then I realized it's just the camera the app. Camera. <laughs> right. but, I, but, right. but for like two hours, I was like, I'm a genius. <laughs> and so I gave it to Richard. That's, that's his thing. He, that's his he, thing. he, he, he says that at the dinner table. It's amazing. And they all go, well, can't you just use your camera? And he's like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we should also congratulate you. You wrote your first graphic novel, yeah. Kemmler. Thank what you. can't you do? I can't draw. You I can't draw. No, Philip Sevy did the drawing. I but can't. You, but I you can write. Draw. I can write. And uh, yeah, graphic novels are. They're more like uh, like storyboards for for a movie. So mm -hmm. there's there's a lot less writing than in the stuff that you're used to if you're if you're reading my stuff. So mm -hmm. that was something to learn was how to how to condense how to condense your. How did you enjoy your experience writing? It, it was torture. I can't torture. Wait to just, yeah, I can't wait to talk to you about it. Really? Well, because I uh, am uneducated, and so I found it but, super challenging. I don't, I'll, that's another discussion. Well, we should talk about that. I'll have you on as a guest. I would love, we love it. We love it. Yeah. The estate is in theaters now and will be available to watch on demand starting tomorrow. Kepler, the book, is available for pre-order now. And coming up next, Brian Tyree.